Winning someone's attention can be a challenging task, but it is possible with the right approach. When you feel like you are continually doing all the work and receiving nothing in return, it may be quite irritating. You can begin to doubt whether they genuinely care about you. Relationship experts claim that battling for someone's attention frequently backfires and causes them to want to separate themselves from you. But what if I told you there was a lot more effective method to handle this circumstance? In fact, if you follow the nine tips and techniques I'll detail in this video, you won't just catch their attention, they'll start chasing you. The fear of rejection or being ignored is the basic reason why most humans battle for someone's attention. They believe that if they don't make an effort, the other person won't pay attention to them. They also make an effort to approach as near to the other person as they can and make every effort to get their attention. But in most cases, this has the exact opposite result of what they want. They frequently end up pushing them away instead of gaining their attention since it starts to seem suffocating and needy to them. What's next can you do to change the situation such that the other person starts seeking you? The answer is really pretty simple. Number one, stop chasing them. It's understandable to want to pursue someone who has caught your attention, but it's important to remember that we cannot control other people's actions or feelings. If you find that you are consistently chasing someone who is not interested in being with you, it may be time to take a step back and consider if it is healthy for you to continue trying to pursue this person. It's important to respect the other person's boundaries and decisions, even if they are not what you want or expect. If someone is not interested in being with you, Continuing to chase them may only lead to frustration and disappointment for you. It may be helpful to focus on yourself and your own well-being. Number two, take responsibility for your emotions. Taking responsibility for your emotions means acknowledging and accepting your feelings rather than trying to blame others or external circumstances for how you feel. It involves recognizing that you have the power to manage and cope with your emotions and that you are responsible for how you choose to express and deal with them. It's important to recognize and acknowledge your emotions rather than trying to ignore or suppress them. This can help you better understand and manage your emotions. Pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, and try to understand the underlying causes of your emotions. This can help you identify patterns and triggers that may be contributing to your emotions. Taking responsibility for your emotions can be a challenging process, but it can also be very rewarding. It can help you feel more in control of your life and more capable of managing your emotions in a healthy way. Number three, live according to your values. Living according to your values means acting in ways that align with your beliefs, principles, and priorities. It involves making choices and decisions that are consistent with what is most important to you. Take some time to reflect on what is most important to you. What do you stand for? What are your core beliefs and principles? What are your priorities? Identifying your values can help you make choices and decisions that are consistent with what is most important to you. Set goals that align with your values and priorities. This can help you stay motivated and focused on what is most important to you. When faced with decisions, consider which choice aligns best with your values. 
This can help you stay true to what is most important to you. This share your values with others and be open to hearing their values as well. This can help strengthen your relationships and create a sense of understanding and connection with others. Take time to reflect on your actions and choices and consider how they align with your values. This can help you stay true to what is most important to you and make adjustments as needed. Number four, show that you're interested without being needy. It's important to show that you are interested in someone without coming across as needy or desperate. It's important to have a sense of independence and to not rely on the other person for your happiness or sense of self-worth. This can help you avoid coming across as needy. Show genuine interest in the other person and what they have to say. Ask questions and listen attentively. Avoid faking interest or trying too hard to impress. Don't go overboard in trying to show your interest. Avoid constantly texting or calling or trying to spend all your time with the other person. This can come across as needy and push the other person away. Respect the other person's boundaries and give them space if they need it. Avoid trying to control their time or push them to do things they are not comfortable with. Believe in yourself and your worth. This can help you approach the situation with confidence rather than insecurity. Avoid trying to be someone you are not as this can come across as insincere and may not be sustainable in the long run. Be yourself and show your interest in a way that is authentic and respectful. Number five, become the best version of yourself. Becoming the best version of yourself involves continuously working on personal growth and development. It means striving to improve and develop your skills, knowledge, and personal qualities in order to achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life. Setting goals can help you stay focused and motivated and can help you measure your progress as you work towards becoming the best version of yourself. Remember, becoming the best version of yourself is a continuous process that requires effort and commitment. It's important to be patient and to recognize that progress may not always be linear. Keep working towards your goals and be proud of the progress you make along the way. As a result, you will become more attractive to others. Number six, be patient with them. Being patient with someone can be challenging, especially when you are feeling frustrated or annoyed. However, it is an important skill to cultivate as it can help you maintain healthy relationships and communicate effectively with others. Remember, being patient with someone does not mean tolerating disrespectful or unhealthy behavior. It's important to set boundaries and communicate your needs in a healthy way. By practicing patience and understanding, you can build stronger, more positive relationships with others. This means that you might have to wait a while before they are ready to take things to the next level. Number seven, never take things personally. I understand that it can be really hurtful when you feel like you're being ignored, but it's important to remember that it may not be personal. There are countless reasons why someone might be ignoring you and none of them have anything to do with you. Perhaps they are going through a difficult time in their life and they need some space to sort things out. It's also possible that they are busy with work or school and that's why they haven't been responsive. Regardless of the reason, it's crucial to remind yourself that it's not about you. Instead of taking it personally, try to give them the space they need. It's essential to keep in mind that they shouldn't be the sole focus of your world. 
It's important to have your own life and interests. This way, when they ignore you, it won't affect you as much. Number 8. Show them that you are wanted by others. A great way to make someone want you more is to demonstrate that you're not easily available to others. It may seem a bit strange, but it actually works. When someone notices that other people are interested in you, they are more likely to develop an interest in you too. This step has been proven because when individuals feel like they are competing for your attention, they become more inclined to desire your companionship. It's a natural instinct that humans have when they sense competition for something or someone. Number 9. Be willing to walk away. This is the final and most crucial step, and it may seem daunting, but it's incredibly important. The concept of walking away can be scary, but it holds significant value if you want someone to desire you more. When we're willing to walk away from someone, it communicates that we are not desperate and refuse to tolerate their mistreatment. It demonstrates that we value ourselves and won't settle for being treated poorly. By doing this, we make it clear that they must treat us well if they want to keep us in their lives. If that's what you truly desire, having this mindset will not only increase someone's desire for you but also attract higher quality individuals into your life. Remember, it's important to be respectful and mindful of the other person's boundaries. Don't try to win someone's attention if they have indicated that they don't want to be bothered. Be patient and understanding, and try to approach the situation with a positive attitude. With the right approach, you can win someone's attention and keep it.